Right, the last section was all to do with fluid momentum, okay? And this is where you have a break in having to deal with Bernoulli's equation, okay? This is uh, slightly different. It's working out the forces on the fluid, okay? And the force on the fluid depends on um, the mass flow rate and the change in velocity, okay? And so here we've got a very simple horizontal flow, okay? You can imagine this is the nozzle at the back of a jet engine, say, okay? And you can work out the force happening, okay? And that's going to be the mass flow rate, so the mass flow rate of the fluid running through that pipe times by the change in velocity between point 0.1 and point 0.2, C2 minus C1. And so that is the force on the fluid, okay? If you've got to work out the force on the object, so say you, you had, in your problems you had to work out, say, the force on a vane or the force on a rocket, okay? Well, that is obviously going to be equal and opposite because we knew, used Newton's third law, okay? And so that's going to be minus F in the same... If you've got a positive X direction is this way, then the force on the object is going to be that, that direction, okay? Newton's third law. If you've got a change in direction, then you have to decompose your velocity into X and Y components, okay? Because the force in the X direction is going to be different from the force in the Y direction. You need to deal with them both, okay? So you use components. We have the X terms for point 0.1 and point 0.2, and you have the Y terms for point 0.1 and point 0.2, and that will give you a force in the X direction and a force in the Y direction. And again, you can then recompose FX and FY to determine the magnitude and the direction of those flows, okay? That should be basic. Okay. Obviously, the magnitude is going to be the square root of those added together. Uh, sorry, of those terms squared added together. Okay. And you use trigonometry to determine the direction, the tangent of Fy upon Fx, or the inverse tangent of Fy upon Fx will give you the angle.